Hey guys, what's up? It's Marcus Maloney again. And today on this two minute meetup, I want to talk about marketing, but I want to talk specifically about list stacking. What is list stacking? Um, how do you create a list and how do you market to that list? So one of the things that we use is list stacking. List stacking is one of the most profitable ways that we're able to find deals and find sellers and market to them. So you say, okay, well, what is list stacking? So you guys have all heard, you know, you pull a list from list source or you pull a list from Revo Gateway or some other list provider, and it may be an absentee owner list or it may be a tax default list or it may be a water cutoff, shutoff list or something like that. Well, stacking is just really adding multiple layers onto that list. So, for example, some of the best lists that we use, let's just say, for example, an out-of-state absentee owner. So this is a person that owns a property, but they live out of state. Okay, so they're the owner of the property and they may, may be, live in, I'm here in Arizona, they may live in Denver, Colorado, but they rent the property to a tenant here in Arizona. That's a wonderful list to target, okay? Uh, some other examples is the absentee owner and eviction. So you look for a list, so you, you add multiple components onto that list. So you pull an absentee owner list, but then you have the component of that absentee owner is going through an eviction. So you marry those two together. So you have the absentee owner that's going through an eviction. Guess what? They're going to be highly motivated to sell that property or they're going to try and find another person to rent that property. So you have a 50-50 chance on trying to pull a deal out of there. So now you can even take it one step further. You can have an absentee owner that lives out of state that's going through an eviction how motivated will they be? You know, that same owner from Denver would now have to have an attorney here in Arizona to try and facilitate that eviction. But all in the meantime, it's costing them thousands of dollars, not only for the eviction process, but then for that person basically squatting or sitting in the home without paying rent, plus the bills and utilities and things of that nature and taxes. So they will more than likely be more motivated to sell than versus a person that is just a landlord here in Arizona, here in Phoenix, you know, that's going through an eviction. So that's two. So I'm going to go over really five basic list stacking lists that you can use to pull motivated sellers so we talked about the absentee owner uh that lives out of state so the out of state absentee owner we talked about the absentee owner that's going through an eviction another one is the tax default list and the water shut off notice so you have a person that's going through a tax default they haven't paid their property taxes and the water is shut off so those are two lists that you can stack together. So more than likely, they're not living in that property because there's no water on, or they might be living in that property, but they definitely need the money, you know, because they're going through a dire situation. So that's three. So again, to recap, absentee out of state owner, absentee and evictions. All the time I've been sitting here, this duck never quacked like this. Now I get on and start recording and he want to quack. So, um, absentee owner out of state, absentee and eviction, tax default and water notice, and then vacant out of state owner. So a vacant absentee owner. Again, same situation. The person that lives in Denver owns a property here in Arizona, but the property is vacant. So that's another one. And then, um, finally, number five, divorce, and bankruptcy. So you take the divorce list and filter it with those who are divorced that are going through uh, bankruptcy. So a person that's going through a divorce currently and going through bankruptcy, naturally they have to do something with that house. So they may put it on the market and sell it that way, or they may try and find a quick exit strategy, which could be you in order to 
sell their house to. So just to recap, list stacking is basically taking one filter of, let's say, absentee owner and another filter of they live out of state and stack those two lists together and see what owners come out on both lists and that's who you will target to. You could target to them via direct mail, text messaging, cold calling, either one of those strategies. But the most important thing is making sure you have a highly motivated list to target. And remember, every last one of them are going to have a high equity position. So you don't want to target a bankruptcy and divorce and let's just say they just purchased the house two years ago because then they won't have enough equity. I mean, you can do a subject to uh, deal or something like that, but if they're going through a divorce, naturally both parties want to split. So make sure there's a high equity position, make sure you do the stacking of the list and you'll find some amazing deals. We've been finding amazing deals. One of our latest lists that we stacked was recent, recently deceased and absentee owner. So the person that owned it recently dis, uh, passed away. So it's a probate deal, but the property is vacant. So it's Marcus Maloney. Equity King signing off. Just letting you know, we have all of this information for you. Um, be a subscriber. You know, you can go to youtube.com slash MRCS Maloney. All of my social media handles are MSCS Maloney. So that's Twitter, that's LinkedIn, that is YouTube, that's Instagram. So come on, check me out. Let's have a good time. Let's make some money in the process. All right, signing off.